So now that we know a little CSS, let's go back to our CSS file and spice up this page by adding some color. As you can see, I changed this content back to a class because that's really a best practice to use classes instead of IDs. I'm going to change the background color of this content area to white and I'm going to add some padding to it and then I'm going to go into the body and I'm going to change this to black but instead of using a hex value as I did here I'm going to use RGBA now what RGBA is is a red green blue alpha channel you can also do RGB with no alpha channel. And to get black, I'll use 0, 0, 0. And then I'm going to use 80% as the alpha channel. Now if I come back to a browser window and refresh this, you can see that the content area is white. The background is black. Um, a little on the grayer side because of the alpha. And there is a padding of 20 pixels. Now that we have this in place, having an alpha transparency on a background doesn't necessarily make sense uh, for the body because there's nothing behind it and you will not notice the transparency of the alpha channel. So what we're going to do is go back into the CSS and we're going to make this body area have the alpha transparency so that you can see this background color through it. So first I'm going to change this content color to RGBA. And we're going to make this one white again. And give it an 80% transparency. And then we're going to keep this black, but we're going to, we're going to remove the alpha channel. And then as you can see, this white is now gray because the black is showing through on it. If we had a background image behind it, you would see the background image behind it. Just as an example, we could repeat this Jeep image in the background to see it through this white content area. If you remember, we have the Jeep image in our assets slash image folder. So we're going to go in here and we're going to add a background image. And we're going to use the URL to define where the image is. And then we're going to tell this background to repeat. Now that didn't work, and the reason why is because the CSS is also in the Assets folder. So the path needs to be a relative one. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up a level, and then we're going to go into the images and reference that Jeep file. And here we go. It's definitely not a designer's dream but it shows the example of how you can use a background image and repeat it and have an alpha channel as your background. 